Hello everybody, this is Chris Kersio and thank you for tuning in on my video uh, on how differentiation and engagement both pertain to brain-based learning. What brain-based learning is, is basically contemporary learning with respect to the scientific side and the psychological side of how the individual functions. Um, a trademark of brain-based learning is differentiation. A great way to differentiate, me being a middle school teacher, is through our writing assignments. Um, I cover a variety of writing assignments and poetry is a genre that always comes up. A poetry assignment could be anything from a five or six stanza poem with expectations of different types of figurative writing, a predetermined rhyme scheme, and syllable count. Or for a student who maybe struggles with creativity or has more limited vocabulary, you can ask them to write a haiku, maybe two or three haikus. Haiku is only three lines, 17 syllables in total, but the end product is still going to be similar in that you're looking for an imaginative, cohesive, unique writing assignment. Um, another way of looking at brain-based learning is through the engagement side of it. Engagement is exactly what it sounds like. Um, just like with differentiation, engagement is pulling students in, is getting them to engage in their academic program. A way I've done this, and it's been huge, wildly successful, is through launching our Student Government Association, or SGA. I launched it four years ago, and the results have been so impressive. Um, you have democratic elections every year and kids are campaigning. They're doing social media campaigns. They're going classroom to classroom to get themselves elected. Once they get elected to the SGA, it just keeps going further and further. They are organizing their own events. They're planning their own activities. They're scheduling field trips. They are throwing parties. They're getting outside businesses to donate to school. They're engaging the school in so many different levels and they're taking so much pride in the school that it's, it's just filtering down inside the classroom and they're taking pride on whether or not their friends are doing their work and it's taking pride on whether or not the teachers are being respected. It's a great thing, it's been so fun and it's getting to the point that I don't even need to do any work with it anyway. The, te the students are just taking over entirely. Um, another less academic way to engage students is to have a little fun in the classroom, is to do a meme contest. As you see behind me, uh, it's, I do it every year. Um, when a topic is especially pertinent and it's, it's been in the news or it's been in the classroom for more than a few weeks, I'll say, hey guys, turn in a meme by the end of the week. Whoever's got the funniest meme, I'll print it, make a poster out of it and put it in the classroom. It's a fun and very easy way to get the students engaged and get them to see a different side of you they may not normally see and have some fun in class. Um, I enjoy doing memes. As a teacher though, as an experienced teacher, I'm always looking for ways for being more efficient. You're always looking for ways to do two things at once. So you don't really want to engage them without differentiating and you don't really want to differentiate without engaging. Here's a couple of ways to do both simultaneously. Um, classroom debates. Classroom debates have become so fun and it's a great way to engage them because they're arguing with each other in a formal fashion, but if you do it the right way and you have an opening argument and a counter argument and a rebuttal and a panel of judges asking questions, this is a super well differentiated assignment where you'll have a team of kids where you'll have one or two kids researching the facts on the topic. You'll have one or two kids planning the speeches. You'll have a kid actually up there vocally giving the debate and you'll have another kid planning rebuttals live and in person as the debate's taking place. It covers a lot of different modalities all within the live actual debate session. Um, another way to differentiate and engage at the same time is a YouTube narrative is what I've called it. So when kids are doing narrative writing, some students have no problem just coming up with their own story and their own plot structure and their own imagination taking over and coming up with their own narration. However, other kids need a little guidance. This is where, where, where you can find YouTube narratives. So you'll find like a five or six minute clip online and you'll play. It's a short video, a short story. You play that and you watch it two or three times and you have the students break down the story into different elements of the plot, all the different elements of the plot. And what they do from this point is they're basically connecting the dots of the plot through their own paragraphs. They're using the guide of this plot structure to write their own story. The story what they're writing is the video they've seen on YouTube, but the end product of what they do versus the kid who came up with their own story is going to be pretty similar. And they can take a lot of pride in that. It's going to expand their vocabulary, expand their understanding of narrative writing too. Fun way to engage and to differentiate. Um, so... In summary, there's a lot of different ways to differentiate, ways to engage. Um, writing assignments can cover all sorts of areas. Communicate with parents can cover. Student Government Association has been great. A meme contest, classroom debates, and YouTube narratives. Some great ways. Hopefully they, um, they're used by other people besides me. Thank you. Enjoy your day.